In this short demo, we're going to take a look at multi-host networking using the native Docker overlay driver. So, when we say multi-host networking, we're talking about creating a single network, so a single layer 2 broadcast domain that spans multiple Docker hosts. In the picture here, we've got two Docker hosts and as we can see, they're both on separate layer 2 networks connected by a layer 3 router. What we'll do is we'll create a new network like this that spans both hosts, giving us a single layer 2 network that containers running on this host over here can use to talk directly to containers over here. And behind the scenes of all of this is some VXLAN magic. That's the stuff that makes it all happen. Well, for this demo, we're going to use this same style of setup with two hosts on separate networks. So here we are on node 1, it's a cleanly installed docker host, so all we've got here are the three default networks that come with all Linux hosts. Well, first we're going to enable swarm mode here and make this node a manager. Okay, that's good, so let's grab this command and we'll hop over to node 2 to join it as a worker. Okay, that's joined as a worker. Now if we jump back to node 1, let's verify that. Yeah. We've got two nodes and, okay, so that's not showing node one, that's the um, AWS name of this particular machine, but it is node one that we're on here. So we've got node one and node two. And if we run that network ls command again, right, we can see we've got a couple of new networks that get used internally by Swarm. Well, on the topic of networks, we want to create a new one to span both hosts. So here's the command that we'll use. Now, we're creating a new network making it overlay by using the overlay driver and we're calling it over net. Now the names are arbitrary, but that works. Okay, so let's list those networks again. And this is it here at the bottom. Now we need some containers to stick on it. And to do that, we'll create a service with a couple of tasks. So this here is creating a new service called my service, attaching it to the overnet network, telling it to run two replicas or containers, and then we're telling it an image to use and a command to run. Okay, let's make sure that's working. Right, two of two replicas, so we're okay. Actually, if we drill a bit deeper, let's make sure that one replica is running on each of our two nodes. Yeah, one on each node there. Well, let's inspect our network here. Over net. Right, there's our local container running and this is its IP. So let me park that IP up here and we'll jump over to node 2. We run the same command here to inspect that network. Alright, that's our same overlay network visible on this host as well. But the container up here, this is the container that's running here on node 2. We'll see it's got a different IP address. But of course, on the same layer 2 subnet. Okay, well we're going to want to log on to that container, so let's get its ID or name here. Right, I'll have that. And let's exec a shell session onto that container. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if we can ping that container, the one I've parked the IP address of up here. Yes, we can. So, we've taken two Docker hosts on separate networks, created a new overlay network spanning both of them, attached a couple of containers to that network, one on each node, yeah? We verified that both got IP addresses from the overlay, and then we jumped onto one container and made sure we could ping the other using the overlay. How easy was that? Multi-host networking made super simple with Docker. To learn more, come and visit us at www.docker.com.